Welcome back my dear students, Act 2, Scene 2, Continuation. Enter Bassanio with Leonardo and other followers. Yeah, Bassanio entered there with his another servant, Leonardo. Okay, and also other followers were there with him. Bassanio, you may do so, but let it be so hasted that supper be ready at the farthest by five of the clock. See these letters delivered and put the liveries to me king and desire Gratiano to come and on to my lodging. See, Bassanio is giving instructions to his one of the servant, servants and he tells that go and see that dinner that is supper to be prepared latest by 5 o'clock. See that these letters are posted. Okay, then go to the tailor and give order for the new liveries. Liveries means uniforms for the servants. Means liveries means actually clothes. The in this liveries means uniforms for the servants. And go and inform Gratiano to come immediately to my home and to meet me. Anon means immediately. Exit a servant. By taking the instructions, one servant who got instructions to do all these works went away from there. Launcelot. To him father. Launcelot being very talkative in this scene. You can see how he interrupts in between to express his wish. He pushes his father a bit ahead and tells that go and speak to him father. Means Please speak with Bassanio. Gobo. God bless your worship. God bless you, sir. Bassanio. Gramercy. God bless you also, sir. Wouldst be uh, out with me? Do you want anything from me? Gobo. Here's my son, sir. A poor boy. A launcelet. Not a poor boy, sir, but the rich juice man. That would, sir, as my father shall specify. Actually, here I have my son who is very poor. So, launcelet pokes his nose in between and tells that... No, no, sir, I am not a poor boy, but I am serving to a rich Jew. So, I am a rich Jew's servant. My father will specify what I want or what we want. Gobo, he had a great infection. Uh, great infection here means, please write down the meaning. Great keen means he is very keen. Sir, as one would say to serve. Actually, my son is very keen to serve you, to be a servant and to do give service to you, sir. Learn select. Indeed, the short and the long is, I serve the Jew and have desire as my father shall specify. So, Lonsali tells that, in short to tell, actually now I am serving the Jew, but now my desire is to serve you. My father will give you the details. Gobo, his master and he, saving your worship's reverence and scare scatter cousin. Actually speaking, his master and my son Lonsali, with all due respect to you, sir, actually, with all due respect to you, hardly they get along. Means this master and servant are not going good with each other. They don't get along. Uh, we want your reference with all respect. Launcelot. To be brief, the very truth is that the Jew having done me wrong doth, doth cost me as my father being, I hope, an old man shall fructify unto you. Again, this Launcelot speaks in between. In short, to tell the truth is... This Jew has done a lot of injustice to me and also he has caused a lot of damage to me. My father will tell what all it is. Gobo. I have here a dish of doves that I would bestow upon your worship and my suit is. See, Gobo uh, gives that dish of doves. Actually, this dish was for Jew. Now it is given to Bassanio and tells that. Now I have a request, sir. Please accept my gift. And I have a request. Launcelot, in very brief, the suit is impertinent to myself. Actually, the request what my father wants to make is on behalf of me. Means that request is for me. As your worship shall know by this honest old man. he, uh, My father is a very old man and he is very honest. And though I say it, though old man, yet poor man, my father. Although I am his son, but to tell my father is a very... A truthful man and also a very good person, very old man and very poor. Bassanio. See, for every word, this Launcelot was poking his nose in between his father's words. So, Bassanio tells, one speak for both. What would you? Let one speak on behalf of both. What you want actually, please tell. Launcelot. Serve you, sir. I want to serve you, sir. Means immediately expresses his desire. Gobo. That is the very defect of the matter, sir. That is the 
main gist of the matter means that is the important point of the matter what we are expressing before you sir basanyo i know thee well thou hast obtained this suit shailok the master spoke with me this day and hath preferred thee if it is preferment to live a rich jews service to become the follower of so poor a gentleman actually i know your desire is what is your desire because today i met your master shylock and he spoke about you actually he recommended you to me for the service if you want to leave your rich master and you want to follow me a poor man like me you are welcome no problem launcelot the old proverb is very well parted between my master shylock and you sir you have the grace of god sir and he hath enough actually sir if you are telling that you are poor and he is rich there is a famous old proverb in that it is applicable for both you and my master shylock actually he is blessed with wealth but you are blessed with god's blessings so i want to be your follower with whom god is there not with the person who has only wealth basanyo thou speakest it well go father with thy son take leave of the old master and inquire my lodging out to his followers give him a livery more guarded than his fellows see it done so basanyo tells that you really speak well launcelot go go father with your son means he is instructing or telling to his old father gopu go with your son to his old master bid him good bye and take a leave from his old master then please find out the way, way to my home and come meanwhile he tells to his followers there please see that uniform with more decoration and more ornaments that means embroidery and designs should be more for this fellow uh, than my other servants see that it is done for launcelot launcelot father in i cannot get a service no i have never a tongue in my head well looking on his palm if any man in italy have a fairer table with doth offer to sir, swear upon a book i shall have good fortune go to here's a simple line of life here's a small triple of wives alas 15 wives is nothing alas 15 wives is nothing 11 widows and 9 maids is a very simple come in for a man and then to escape drowning thrice and to be peril of my life with the edge of feather bed here are simple scapes well if fortune be a woman she is a good wench for this gear father come i'll take my leave of the jew in the twinkling of an eye exunt launcelot and old gobo see launcelot immediately turns to his father with happiness and tells that father come let us go from here now but uh, you said that i will never get a job see again the conversation between father and son starts where launcelot speaks headlong okay actually this is all headlong talk of launcelot in this context fine children there is no particular meaning for his words but he speaks to show off his greatness i'll explain you he tells that you said that i speak uh, i cannot speak for myself and i cannot get a job see now i got a job the two with such a good job uh, person i got a job see my palm how nice it is there is a line of life and there is a small triple means small bunch of lines in my palm where it shows that i will have 15 wives in that 11 widows and 9 virgins see 15 again he uh, extends 9 plus 11 means it will be 20 he said 15 and he gives one description that he will have 11 widows will be married to him and also 9 virgins will marry him totally how many 20 there is is there a connection no he speaks headlong a good record for one man means a man can be prestigious to have so many wives i am so lucky see my hand and i will be saved thrice from drowning and once i will fall from feather bed just to escape means i will not die nothing will happen to me i am so lucky in my life see my palm how good it is if fortune is a woman she is good at this e kind of kind of fortune telling come father i shall take my leave means see children last lines if fortune means if fate or fortune is a woman 
seriously it will be jealous to see my good fortune which is in my palm come now let us go to our old master and take a leave in short while we will come back telling this both father and son move from that place basani i pray thee good leonardo think on this these things being bought and orderly bestowed written in haste for i do feast tonight my best esteemed acquaintance he go thee go so he request to leonardo leonardo please think about this some things or gifts i have brought please pack it properly come back very quickly today i have tonight we should uh, i should give dinner to my friends please hurry up see he brought some gifts okay uh, he asked to pack and arrange it properly to whom did he tell leonardo right leonardo my best endeavors shall be done herein i will do best in my in this matter my master he tells he assures the gifts to be given to portia enter gratiano see gratiano comes here if uh, gratiano where is your master where is your master leonardo yonder sir he walks gratiano signor bassanio bassanio gratiano gratiano i have a suit to you you have a bassanio you have obtained it gratiano you must not deny me i must go with you to belmont see gratiano comes there gratiano and bassanio are very good friends okay but uh, he comes and ask leonardo that where is your master so he tells that my master is there he is walking there telling this leonardo goes away exit it is given here means leonardo departs he goes from there and uh, signor bassanio he calls out means respected bassanio gratiano uh, bassanio again gives answer gratiano i am here so he tells that i have a suit to you means i have a request so it tells yes it is granted before listening to him he tells that it is granted so gratiano tells that okay fine you are granting that but you should not say no for my request that request is i want to come with you to belmont he expressed his desire that he also want to go to belmont besan why then you must but here the gratiano do are too wide too rude and bold of voice part that uh, become thee happily enough and in such eyes as are appears not faults but where thou art not known why they they show something to liberal pray thee take pen to ally with some cold drops of modesty they skipping spirit lest through they wild behavior i i be misconstrued in the place i go to and lose my hopes so pesanio tells that no problem you can come but listen gratiano you are uncontrollable means you are not trained there you should behave properly you should say amen to the prayers you should have table manners speaking manners sitting manners standing manners you should follow all the royal rules in the palace of belmont okay otherwise i will lose my hopes and all my dreams will be shattered because we should not be targeted because of our behavior you should polish your behavior gratiano signor besanio hear me if i do not put on a sober habit talk with respect and swear but now and then wear prayer books in my pocket look demurely nay more while grace is saying hood mine i thus with my hat and sigh and say amen use all the observance of civility like one well studied in a sad ostent to please his grandma never trust me more so he tells that yes gratiano i know i will do behave properly with modesty with politeness swear rarely i will carry my prayer book and now here and there i will be telling amen for all the prayers and also i will be reciting prayers i will be very decent and i will be telling my prayer before meal and and i will uh close my eyes and bow to the ladies and respect them where it all necessary and i say amen after the prayers they recite it i will use all the civilized society's manners don't worry besanyo please i will be like as if i'm pleasing my grandmother i will be a good child kind of behavior there that to with lots of politeness discipline if i do not follow this rules never believe me again besanyo Besanio, well, we shall see your bearing. Fine, 
I accept. Now let me watch your behavior. Gratiano. Ne. But I bar tonight. You shall not gauge me by what we do tonight. No, no. You cannot observe me immediately from now onwards because tonight we all friends are gathering in your home for supper. Now there you don't check my behavior. Let me be myself. Basanyu. No. That were pity. I would entreat you rather to put on your boldest suit of mirth. For we have friends that purpose merriment. But fare you well. I have some business. No, no, not today. I would be a, uh, I would be really sorry to do that tonight itself. Actually, you should put some jokes. Mirth means jokes. So that all friends should enjoy tonight. Okay, now I have some work. Bye-bye, Gratiano. I have some business. Let me go. Gratiano. And I must to Lorenzo and the rest. But we will visit at supper time. Fine. You go. Now I too have some work to meet Lorenzo and others. We shall meet at supper time. They depart. Excellent means they depart. Children here we finished. Act 2. Scene 2. Next we will be in Venice itself. Act 2. Scene 3. Okay. Where uh, we will see. What all will happen? Uh, Jessica, Launcelot, Shylock, the two people, Launcelot and Old Gobo went to meet his master that is awaited still there. Let us see what all will happen. Jessica's elopement is awaited still. Okay, read this very carefully. We will be meeting in next class. Thank you.